In Death Stranding, you may find some orders and deliveries more taxing on foot due to weight, distance, and struggling to maintain balance. Luckily, you'll have the opportunity to find and even fabricate different vehicles to help get the job done. Here's how vehicles work in Death Stranding. Vehicles come in two main types, motorcycles called reverse trikes and larger trucks. The trikes have better speed and balance as you are able to move quickly over difficult terrain, but it has limited cargo space. Their high maneuverability allows them to get to many destinations and even outpace mules. Trucks are fairly slow over any terrain that isn't flat and are best suited on paved roads, but can boast a ton of extra cargo space, especially for hauling lots of materials. They can even drive through rivers with deep bottoms that would normally send you floating downstream but it requires a lot of battery power to get you through. Early on in your adventure through the eastern region of America, you'll probably be wondering how to get a vehicle. You'll even spot a trike just outside the distribution center at the beginning of the game, but it's been rendered inoperable due to lack of battery power. Sadly, this trike is just a tease as you won't be able to drive it until a little while later. You'll need to take on Order 9 and deliver supplies to the nearby wind farm before you can learn how to construct a generator with a PCC. Once you have the upgrade, return to the way station and equip the PCC by pressing right on the D-pad. Once you have it out, press down on the D-pad to cycle between structures to find a generator, and then place it down next to the trike. Once built, it will rapidly charge up your reverse trike, allowing you to finally get some wheels. Even after you obtain this one reverse trike, you won't be able to create more, so use it with care. Vehicles do best on flat terrain, but the trike at least has a little bit of an easier time handling rough ground, as you can hold back on the left control stick to do a wheelie, allowing you to climb over rocks with a certain degree of success. As vehicles take more and more damage from falls and timefall rain, you'll see them start to rust and eventually start sparking. At this point, a big enough fall could completely destroy it. Cargo repair spray has no effect on vehicle durability. Instead, you are limited to using the garages found in both not cities, distribution centers, and safe houses. To restore a vehicle's durability to full, you'll need to drive it to an elevator pad at a facility, and then either rest in the private room or use the terminal to access the garage and store the vehicle. Once brought out again, the vehicle in question will be fully repaired. Vehicles can and should be used in many scenarios, especially when traversing relatively flat ground. It's a lot harder to damage cargo when riding in a vehicle, as opposed to constantly stumbling down hills or into rocks when carrying things on foot. However, due to limited battery life, you should always plan to ride vehicles on paved roads that can be constructed in the central region, as driving in the center of paved roads will not use a battery, even when using the speed boost. Mules also have their own trucks that they ride around their camps looking for trespassers, and they also leave them stored in their tents. A clever player can turn the tables by hijacking their trucks, quickly load up all the materials and stolen cargo, and then make a speedy retreat. But if your vehicle is hit by their electric weapons, you'll be forced to exit and the vehicle will be unusable for a short period. Mule trucks cannot technically be owned and you'll want to make sure you offload your cargo before too long. If you travel about a thousand meters from your vehicle, the stored cargo will disappear and become available for other players to find. The only time vehicles should not be used is when a delivery order will likely take you over steep mountainous terrain with few places to reliably drive up. And even though you can technically drive a trike up a ladder, it's usually a risky move. If you're making a long off-road trip, be sure to map out a path and look for generators if traveling within the chiral network or bring an extra PCC to make your own, and try to avoid areas where your battery can drain rapidly and leave you stranded. Remember that some of the Knot Cities also have a few parking spaces outside that can generate a small charging field that you can use in a pinch if no one's placed generators nearby. Though you can start fabricating reverse strikes and trucks in Episode 3, you'll also be able to start finding and using vehicles left by other players. Each player can fabricate up to four total vehicles, which, if stored in garages, will be available online for other players to use. Be sure to check the garages at distribution centers and not cities to see if any have been stored away. For more on Death Stranding, make sure to check out our full review of the game, as well as 29 crucial tips to help you get started off right in your delivery man adventures. If you have any tips of your own, make sure to drop them in the comments. And of course, for much, much more on Death Stranding, make sure to keep it here on IGN.